anyone from our area hoping to drive to Tennessee is going to have to find another way besides I-40 after Helene badly damaged the interstate. WRL's Noah Klein is here now with when the road could reopen. Noah. Renee, it's going to be a while here. A lot of people, they saw this alert over on Google Maps saying the road won't reopen until September of 2025. Now, DOT officials, they haven't said the exact estimated time for when the highway will be fixed. Take a look. New photos from the state show this damage in the aftermath. This is I-40 near the state line. The Tennessee DOT says a mudslide took out the eastbound lanes about three miles here into North Carolina. Let's take you back to when the storm hit. This is video of the Pigeon River against the side of I-40 just west of the state line. You can see that water rushing the road actually ended up crumbling into the river. The view from above gives us an idea here of these mudslides and the amount of damage they were able to do during the storm. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says while things are improving, this is going to be a long process. But you got to understand in some of these rural communities, mountain communities, uh, you know, these are places where if a bridge gets taken out, the next nearest bridge uh, might be 20, 30 or more minutes away on a good day. As far as the interstate, the uh, miles of closure are down below about 40 miles from uh, 100. So definite improvement there. But uh, parts of I-40, uh, North Carolina's DOT is telling us that at best, best case scenario, it is months before they are permanently restored. Buttigieg says the NCDOT plans to file for emergency relief, which is key. It's going to open up some new funding from the federal government. He says even with that, though, there's no way the department has enough money to provide what the state needs right now. He says Congress will need to pass legislation providing more funding.